constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Reading out the statement, the President said, the Commission recommends that members of Monetary Board and Central Bank Governor must be appointed by the Constitutional Council in concurrence of the members that the regulations must be amended accordingly. The report also recommends that there should be highest levels of supervision over public debt department. The Commission recommends that the audit department must be reorganised completely as auditing at the Central Bank has not been conducted in a proper manner. Additionally, it proposes that a legal department must be established within the central bank and ensure that it functions efficiently. The Commission also recommends EPF transactions be looked while taking measures to restructure it. Another recommendation is the introduction of a code of conduct for officials of the central bank, while the code of conduct for primary dealers must be revised and updated. The Commission observes that the confidentiality, astuteness and auditing methods of the Central Bank of Sri Lanka were extremely weak during the mandate of the Commission. In its report, the Commission welcomed the move to install telerecording systems, electronic monitoring and CCTV, which it says was lacking during the Commission's mandate. Delivering a special statement yesterday, President Maitripala Sirisena said that he expects the governor of the central bank to make a statement in the near future regarding the shortcomings at the central bank as revealed in the commission report. The president urged the Ministry of Justice and the Attorney General to take early steps to draft the three bills proposed by the commission and present them to parliament in order to make required changes at the central bank to ensure such corrupt practices frauds and malpractices do not happen in the future.